My grandmother was, I think, one of the great landladies. She was the first woman in this country to be given a license in her own right as a woman. My great-grandfather was publican in London, and when he died in the 50s, she tried to take over his power and was refused the right because she was a woman. I mean, she'd been serving behind a bar since she was 15. She just went round the breweries looking for someone who would allow her to take on a pub in her own right. She was sort of a feminist before feminism, if you like, but it was incredibly brave. She embodied, to my mind, what makes a great pub. She was tough, but she was forgiving. She was completely non-judgmental, but she sort of created these implicit standards of behavior. She had a kind of bravura about her, a kind of, you know, putting on a show, that kind of theatricality. I used to watch her getting ready for the evening, you know, putting on her makeup. Uh, she was in her 50s, 60s, but she was still very, very glamorous, uh, putting on this armor for the night, really. And then me, this little nuisance, you know, aged about six or seven, not really understanding what they were talking about, but sort of drinking in adulthood, I suppose. So the book would be, I suppose, a homage to the pub, and I want to use the character of my grandmother as a way to explore why we care about pubs, why a pub like this, we're in the blue posts in Berwick Street in Soho, why a pub like this, which is a brilliant pub, why it matters to us, but they are a, a dying breed. It's a, it's a hymn to the pub, a homage to what we're losing, but above all, it's a labor of love. It's the book I've wanted to write all my life.